Hi, and welcome back to Tier 10 to Prem. It's episode 58, and it's the big title decider. Bit early to say that, but it is. Maidstone. Please do subscribe to the channel, and also, don't forget to hit that like button and get notified when we're next up. I just thought we'd point out the fact that we've had uh, youth intake day. Yes, here we are with Everin Mert. Not even a full star of potential. <laughs> Some of these players. Kelvin Gabriel. Two and a half star potential. <sighs> Beggar's belief. And who's this one? River Butland. Look at the tash on him. <laughs> My goodness. One and a half star potential. <sighs> Look. He's meant to be a winger. Meant to be a winger. What am I going to do with these? <laughs> Damien Smart. One more. Hang on. Look at the neck on this lad. <laughs> Goodness sake. He's two star potential. Two star potential is what? Centre half. He's what? He's a centre half. He's five foot seven. He weighs nine stone. You blow him over in the wind. <laughs> oh my goodness. But he is a centre midfielder. So, eight passing, first touch of 11. <sighs> really? Really? But then if we look at the comparison with our players we've got, we have got some tasty players, haven't we? If we just look at our uh, team report. Squad depth. Look at that. <sighs> Lovell, who's on loan. We need to extend his loan, actually. That's one we need to sort out. It's just... We have got some good players. Todd, we just extended his contract. Well, I've offered him one, so hopefully he'll accept. Glover, Kite. Crawford is coming up through like a, like a steam train. Pickering is our best striker. Phelan actually rated as a second. Goldsworthy now has dropped... Yeah, you can see he's declining. He's starting to decline. He is 33 years old. It might have to be a bit more of a substitute appearance. We'll see. But today, team for Maidstone. We're away at Maidstone. This could be a massive clincher in what we uh, aspire to do as win that league. And it's Harvey in goal. Davis, Richards, Purcell, Lovell, Kite, Crawford, Glover, Ford, Pickering and Goldsworthy. Robinson, I put him on the bench at 89%. <clears throat> yeah, it says excellent and normal levels, but 89 in my eyes isn't quite enough. Dupy as well to cover centre-half. Purcell's on a 91, so... And again... Collins in there for Crawford who's a 92 so we'll see but this is the big one this is the big one maybe we should have started with Robinson I don't know it's, uh, it's a tricky one but we're the underdogs here and it suits us to down to the ground let's go and cause an upset completely agree Jake but the fact that we are so far ahead in this league, in this table, it's, uh, as we can see, 10 points clear, they've got a game in hand on us. This really could be the turning point. If they beat us, it's down to 
seven points with a game in hand, possibly four points. If we win today, it's nearly game over. In the first ten minutes, I will drop some praise at 20, I think. That's my little latest key. And Wellstone are winning, are they? Where are they two? Yeah, they've gone 1-0 up. And Davis, and it's not his way. Davis gets to it. Richards, lump forward. Goldsworthy, Pickering, Ooh, close. And the XGs, yeah. We will, again, we'll drop a bit of praise. 20 minutes gone. Lovell's overconfident, so's Davis. Davis might have to come off. He's already on a yellow, so... We shall see. Crawford down to 80% as well. Purcell. So players are dropping like stones on their fitness levels. Maidstone are coming back into it. You can see the body language is starting to change. And they've got someone who is fired up by the feedback. And it's coming up to half time. And so. <sighs> hang on. Hang on. As I was just saying, so far so good. And why aren't these two playing together again? It's it's baffling. Been nodding the ball on. Goldsworthy, Pickering, Crawford, Goldsworthy. Keeper makes a save. It's been quite a few times of late that the the ball's not being nodded anywhere near where it should be. Just sort of nodding it on for themselves, almost playing for themselves. It's a bit of a concern, but we shall see. And here we are, 42 minutes gone. We're definitely having the better of it. And we'll drop a focus in there for the last part. Just so they know what they've got to do. Keep it going. Um... Yes, I think we'll stick with the pleased. They're all inspired, they're all happy. Inspired, look at that. And then we've got to start making some changes in a minute. Lovell. Crawford's onto it. Crawford back to Purcell. Purcell aimless with his uh, minute passing. He's got kite cracking challenge in there. But they've come back at us again. And that was Richards who just punted it anywhere. And Davis under it. Pickering. Go on, son. And he's turned and he's away. And he's away. Keeper makes the save. Kite. What was that? I thought it was like a handball then. But Davis is going to be the first one. For Robinson. Take Lovell to man mark there, yep. Yeah. Crawford, even though he's playing well today, for Collins. And for our final trick, is there anybody who's. Glover again. Glover was another one. And we'll go for Phelan. I know Phelan doesn't like playing down that side, but let's fire them up. 20 minutes to go. Oh, what have we done? Overwhelmed. That's not what we wanted. But they've had four booked. Be just like Phelan. Come on, get down that wing. Enjoy yourself. 6.5s look it's not very often you have those two with 6.5s but a draw would do would put us 10 points clear so it would be 7 points it's certainly not over by any stretch of the imagination but if we're not going to get another chance I'll be happy with this Pretty 
Vern Lovell, Ford, to Lovell again, Ford, into Pickering, Keeper makes another cracking save, another highlight, another highlight, Collins under it, Pickering, Phelan, charging down the left, Goldsworthy, it's the post, oh he's offside, and it's another highlight, a minute to go, it's all happening in these last few minutes. Get it away. Get it away. Forward into him. Come on. Too much play. Too much play. Collins. Nice. Harry Wilson was offside for them. And it's going to be a needless highlight, is it? One of these little silly ones that we get for... Uh, Time wasting referee. <laughs> what was that? What was that? I only predicted a narrow win for Maidstone, but in this game, so I can't really say I was too surprised that the final outcome was a draw. Connor Young from ITV Sport. So Wildstone have now gone above Maidstone to make it a not. Nine point difference there. Have we got to play them? Yeah, I think we will say great result. It was uh, it was never a foregone conclusion that we beat them, and it's not very often that we have a nil nil on there. That was just dull. <laughs> uh, love the comments. Absolutely love them. So. Have we got to play? Yes, we have. We have to play Wellstone. But we will be back for the Torquay game. I think we'll come back for the final. And then it'll be Wellstone. And then maybe the last two, if it's uh, if there's something to go on to play for. We'll, uh, we'll run through these three games into the Torquay game, I think. If you've enjoyed that, please do subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to hit that like button and also get notified when we're next back against Torquay United. See you soon.